Hi my gardening angels and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Jess and today we are going to be talking about how to propagate burrow's tail. So this is a really fun succulent and I can't wait to show you how to propagate it because it's super easy and it propagates surprisingly fast and it's just such a fun and easy going plant um, in the succulent world. So burrow's tail actually doesn't need as much light as other succulents and so it kind of can have a lot of different options to be put in your house. So I actually had to go to my mom's house to get this burrow's tail because I gifted her my burrow's tail a long time ago and so she actually has it. So we're gonna jump there quick and then you guys are gonna come back here to me and I'll go over with the cuttings that I took. All right, so this is our beautiful burrow's tail. This is my mother's plant. Um, I this was my plant and then I gifted it to her because it just looked so pretty with her bird cage and looks great in her house so um, it's kind of gotten a little crazy it wanted a little bit more light so it started stretching out here but the base is super healthy uh, so I would really like to propagate him and so I thought you guys would like to see someone also asked if they could see how to propagate this so this is perfect timing uh, these are super easy to propagate. They are beautiful, very easy to grow. So these leaves are pretty little. They will grow new babies from the leaves, but if you can take cuttings, that's gonna be your best bet at getting a bigger, fuller plant faster, just because the little leaves are so small and they just take so long to grow. So I'm gonna be taking some cuttings so all you'll need is a sharp knife. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be sanitized or anything. Just make it clean. Uh, you don't want it to be super dirty when you're cutting. So I have to think of where I'm gonna take these cuttings from. All right, so here you can really see the new growth. The old growth is this blue color and all the new growth is that little bit of green. So really cute, really precious. Uh, this plant is really fun. Let's see, I think. Yeah, same thing here. Little bit of green and blue. A very fun plant. I really like Burrow's tail. Okay, so I think I found the two spots I'm gonna propagate from. So this branch actually was one we've already propagated from. So as you can see, if my phone will focus, um, here is the old cutting spot. So you can kind of see how it branches off there. And then this is the dead piece of tissue left, but um, it made a branch off. So what I was looking for when I'm gonna decide to propagate, I really like how these are coming out of the birdcage, so I don't wanna necessarily mess up that but I'm gonna look for some bare spots. What I'm talking about here is this spot has lost a lot of leaves and so has this spot. So if we look up here though, this is what it's supposed to look like. So it has kind of this spiral shape of really beautiful, thick, close together leaves. This is really healthy. Um, and then here it must've got bumped or something, but it's lost a few leaves. So what I really wanna do is I wanna try to promote some more healthy growth. So I'm gonna try to take a cutting around here. We already have a lot of leaves that are lost and you need to have some of these nodes where the leaves used to be for roots to grow out. So I'm gonna take a cutting around here and then I also found this branch here kind of has the same thing. A lot of these leaves have been bumped off um, over time. So we're gonna take kind of a cutting around there and then have it grow fresh from there on out. I'm just gonna gently hold this here and then I want this cut to be made here. Um, I'm gonna remove a few of these leaves just to make it a little bit easier and we need them to be removed anyways for our roots. And then I can get a sturdier base and then just make a nice clean cut. So there is our clean cut. You can see that it's really fresh. Uh, we'll just set this aside here we have a nice little base for roots to grow out of. We'll just give him about an inch. And then we have all these little babies that 
I pulled off two and we can leaf propagate those. And again, this is the one we're gonna try to take off. I'm gonna try to take it off kind of where it meets the planter. So I'm gonna take off these three leaves here. And then I'll be able to hold a better base and then make a nice cut. If you can get it as close to the other leaves as possible, that's how you're gonna get the best and thickest cut or new growth. And then we have our other fresh cutting here with some space for roots to grow and then we'll replant him. All right, so here's another spot where either it got broken or we propagated it or whatever, but then you can see the new little growth coming off of it sideways there. So that's what you'll be able to look for. So here's the fresh cutting. Uh, new growth should come out of this node or from around it, it will find a spot for the new growth to come out, but it will hopefully branch and we'll get some new healthy growth. And then um, if you take it at the base, if all of your burrow's tails are stretched out, Taking it at the base should promote a more full plant because it will usually produce two branches and kind of spread out. So this one, I didn't want to take it from the base because it's already pretty packed in there and it looks really healthy. And so I'm just thinking we'll want more. So I wanted to propagate it and that was a good spot to do it since it uh, kind of had that leg in leaves. But so these are our two here. And then once these start, <laughs> taking off and propagating. They should grow roots here and then continue good growth there and then we can just continue to propagate and make him a fuller plant. So I'll be taking these guys with me and we'll put them in a pot and then I'll be updating you on the progress. All right, here is one of the burrow's tail leaves and I do not know if I can get close enough on this, but there is a little tiny baby leaf and baby roots forming. So you just propagate him like you would a normal leaf, or I like to just throw him back in the pot with the parent plant. All right, so that's kind of how you take the cuttings. So I have the two cuttings here that I took in that clip, and they are now completely dried out. It's been um, maybe four or five days since I took those. So you can kind of see the end here is kind of more crispy. It's definitely dry. It's not that green. Uh, this is totally fine. You can see how the bottom end is kind of wrinkled over and it might look wrong, but don't worry. Um, it will produce roots. This one honestly might even be a little bit too long of a cutting uh, with the end here, but really it won't be much of a problem. Well, okay, that was just gonna rip off anyway. I wasn't planning on watering this, so this is fine. So even if it does break open like this again and exposes that fresh stem, you don't necessarily have to leave it out to dry, but uh, you do want to avoid watering for a few days so that you don't accidentally water that. So all I'm going to do is take these, and I just have a little pot of succulent soil here. You're just gonna want fast draining soil um, like any other succulent and you're just going to stick in the ends. I just like to kind of shove them in there and um, try to get them as deep as you can. This one I might have to lay down a little like that since he's kind of shorter. So honestly, this is all you have to do and you'll just water this as normal with your other succulents. I guess I would water maybe a little bit less until the roots get more established and you should be able to start seeing some growth in a few months. So these ones are already starting to wrinkle. It might be a little hard for it to catch on camera, but the leaves should be um, kind of dehydrating at this point. So you really wanna have a hydrated leaf and cutting when you first take that initial slice and then it will start to take water away from its pre-existing leaves in order to make the roots. So just keep that in mind. It's going to start looking worse before it starts looking better. Um, so don't be discouraged by that. But I'll just be watering these as normal throughout the next few months. And hopefully we should have some nice new little succulents. So I'm really excited for these little babies. And if any of the leaves pop up 
I like to just throw them in kind of around the base of these. It's kind of the best environment for new little growing leaf babies and so just throw them in there and let them sit. So I will definitely update you guys on these in a few months. They should be doing just fine. It's just like taking any other cutting from succulents and so you can do it be either cutting or leaf propagation. And again, as I mentioned when I was at my mom's house, uh, leaf propagation does go very slow, but it is possible. So if you have a few leaves that fall off in the process of cutting, I would just throw them in and they'll add to your succulent bundle in the end. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it was pretty short and sweet. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, it really supports my channel. And comment down below any questions that you may have regarding this propagation or any other succulent propagation, or if you guys want to see a specific type of succulent propagated. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.